today, cities of all sizes and on all continents face very similar challenges. Populational growth, pollution in the environment, depletion of natural resources, traffic jams, delays, and stress undermine our quality of life. Each one in their own way, cities seek solutions to every one of these challenges. And Curitiba is one of them. Recognized worldwide for its history of innovation in urban planning, it brings together ideal conditions to carry out, beginning now, an unprecedented experience in smart mobility. The Curitiba Eco Electric Project. This initiative brings together the City Hall of Curitiba, its Institute of Planning and its urbanization company, the Portuguese company Seia, an expert in developing solutions for mobility and connectivity, Renault Nissan do Brasil, a global benchmark in electric vehicles, and Itaipu, the largest generator of renewable energy on the planet and a leader in research in this area. By 2020, the Eco Electric Project aims to become a global example by establishing a network of smart mobility with technology and respect to human beings. The project has two basic elements as its principle, integration with the existing structure and connectivity between different equipment, such as vehicles and charging points, to a central intelligence and control system, the MobiMe, developed by SEIA. In the future, by analyzing the data, the system will be able to take the following actions in real time, manage the flow and routes, control vehicle consumption, and even provide various services to citizens. The Eco-Electric Project will have four phases. At first, coinciding with the FIFA World Cup, there will be 10 charging points and 13 electric vehicles that will be used for policing the municipal parks, for providing information to tourists, for urban transit, for demonstrating technologies, and in traffic education. In the second phase, up to the 2016 Olympics, the diversity of the equipment will be expanded. Shared fleets of vehicles and electric bicycles may be adopted by the police force and traffic agents, by the postal system, taxi cooperatives, and companies with fleets. With the expansion of use, the data collected should assist in improving the technology and innovating the related processes. In the third stage begins direct service to the public. The multifunctional charging points will begin to offer information and services for tourists and citizens. The sharing of vehicles such as electric bikes will be available to the user and will work as a complement to the conventional transportation network. Finally, on the fourth and final phase, all mobility services will be integrated into the system, which should serve to both maximize its use as well as control costs, resulting in a considerable reduction of environmental impacts. At the end of each month, the user will receive a single bill with all the trips, vehicles, and expenditures made. Mobility becomes a utility. This is how the Curitiba Ecoelectric Project should serve as an example to other cities. Cities that also take mobility, sustainability, and urban planning seriously. Because even with all the awards and recognition, Curitiba always wants to evolve continually more. Transforming into reality a future project like this with intelligence and innovation is also to think in the future of who one day will still live or visit this place. Curitiba, Eco Electric Project. Welcome to urban mobility of a new generation.